Hey guys, welcome back to Opimation. And in this video, we will be talking about an exercise that I used to do when I was starting up in animation. And sometimes I still do it here and there now. And that's uh, creating key poses and then having breakdowns in between. Now, key poses are good, they're great. You know, storytelling poses, we all need them. But the breakdown poses are the ones that make the animation. How does that character get from one pose to another? So this little exercise I used to do is where I used to do a keyframe and then another keyframe and then I would figure out how many ways can I make that character get from that pose to that pose. So it's a nice little simple exercise that I just wanted to share with you guys. So let's dive in and I'll show you a little example of what I've got set up here. So for example, we've got this character here. This is a step. So I've done a keyframe here and I've got a keyframe here. So there's two poses, right? So what I've got going here is I've got the pose of the spine like this and then here I've got the pose here. So I've got these two little C shapes, overall ones. So if I just do an overall, it's an overall line going this way and then the other way, yeah? It's kind of, this one is kind of going, kind of going like that. All right, and then now what I wanna do is, all right, how many times can that this character get from that pose to that pose? Now there's a thousands of ways you can do it, right? That's the whole point of the exercise. So you wanna be just challenging yourself, seeing how many times. And another thing you wanna do is, for example, if you've got the hips here, you know, when, when we're animating little in-betweens, it's nice to get organic curves going in between, either upward, or downward, or maybe it's a longer action shot and it's going we all over, you know, the, the arcs are going all nicely. So a good thing I used to practice is like, for example, say if I go to animation and I go to visualize, create edible motion trail, and I show that. So if you look here, just put this on, you can see it's linear, isn't it? So it's pretty linear. The way it, well, it is linear, the way it's moving. So what I would normally do is like, wherever I want the breakdown, so maybe I want, let's put it at five for just example sake. Maybe I want this character to come in this, the breakdown down and up, or you could have it up and down. It doesn't have to be that much of an arc, because you see in a lot of dialogue shots, you know, a lot of characters, when you do too much of that, it'll be like, and then you said this, and then you said that, then you know, it's quite repetitive. So having subtle, you use it when you have to, but having like subtle arcs will just make your character more organic, the way it moves when it's, re when it's realistic movement, of course. So for this example's sake, I'll just have it down slightly. So then I'll be like, all right, well, I've got that nice little arc established. So then I'll just practice from there. I'll be like, all right, what can I do? So if I just uh, get rid of this, uh, motion motion trail i'll just delete it from the outliner here all right now what how do i want it do i want it to lead from the head do i want to lead from the hips first so for example just for example sake here i'll just what we can do here is i can be like all right at this frame i want the hips to go forward so i'll just lean the hips forward a bit move the hips forward and maybe the back I want it to follow a bit later and then we've got the back so you might want to just drag the head a bit more and then maybe the arms the arms you could have like back a bit you may want this one coming forward but then you might want to break the joint so you might want to want this one coming in back and then here I might want to break this joint and just have that going back. So little things like that. So then when we play it, there's a little like break breakdown you've got going there. And obviously later on you would start offsetting and stuff, but then you think, all right, this is just one possible way that one character can get from A to B. Right? And then you can change it around. You could go to the hips, and like I mentioned before, instead of going down, you know, it might come up. 
maybe an up going up and then you can just play around so this is just a little exercise I want to share with you which I found when I was starting and I wasn't too confident about animation I would do these simple I'd keep it very simple these poses but I'll make sure the storytelling poses are really clear and really readable and silhouettes are clear and then I would just work out okay how many times can I get this character to this pose to that pose and there's so many different possibilities thousands right even like here you could even have do ridiculous ones you know you could even have one which is I don't know all the way down you could even move move it all the way down like really you know turn it turn turn and really exaggerate you know you could even stretch if you wanted to if there's a stretch I don't know if this uh, translates as well but yeah you could stretch as well you know you can break the in-betweens like if you're doing quick in-betweens you can really stretch the character and you can really break the joints so here we could for just example sake move this and then make it follow nice nice arcs as well so we could move this so say if we had this like this cartoony you can create nice shapes like this so you so it's following so you're getting like nice arcs all the arcs that follow like you know like this all the paths of action that follow that create the movement organic and then you could even try just just playing around with this and then you can start adding some more breakdowns in between you know to just drag it more and then keep breaking it down like that but firstly when you start just do a keyframe keyframe and then a breakdown in between the breakdown could be further along to favor the pose is getting into or before depending all depends but a nice little exercise there that, that they just you can just try and just practice all the different variations or breakdowns of how a character can get, get from one pose to another and if you've got a character that's got squash and stretch use that you know stretch it when you go through breakdown shots make the character follow a nice arc overall arc the head the hands the whole arc of the arms to get to the final pose and then you can start adding settles later and stuff so this is just one of the exercises i wanted to share with you that i found quite useful when i was starting off in animation and i hope uh, you do too so yes guys if you like that video and you think that exercise is good try it out see if you like it comment below if there's anything else you want to know i'll be putting out videos every week and thank you for all the subscribers you guys are great you've been i've noticed subscribers coming in every week and nice comments i really appreciate that it's helping my channel grow and i will continue doing this yeah so have fun animating and enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video and please don't forget to like and subscribe grow the channel thank you bye